Hello my soccer universe for another collection video. Hey, before we go back to the original video, I realized while editing and I'm talking about this jersey, I'm at 399 subscribers. So I'm very, very close to 400, which would make it very fitting to wear this with the gold a little bit, another milestone hit. So this is another thing. Thank you for every single subscriber that I have. It is, I'm so happy that you enjoy the content that I'm putting out there. I'm doing it because I'm having fun doing it and I hope this transmits all to you. So thank you very, 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 very much. It's another milestone and that it happened so quickly after the 300 puts me really uh, in a very, very, very good mood. And just in case that I'm still at 399 and you're not subscribed, just hit the subscribe button. 400, yeah. Back to the original video. Um, first of all, I want to show you how well this new Spain uh, 2008 home jersey fits me, unlike the previous one, which was really, 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 really tight because it was a fake. But having the La Liga, Liga background up there and fully aware that probably I should show you some of my Liga jerseys, but I decided now nah, let's use the Spanish jersey that I'm wearing and the background to show you one of the favorite jerseys that I got last year which is, of course, this absolute stunning 1920 Real Madrid away jersey. But this is yes. such a beautiful jersey the moment I saw it. I mean, you know, I love dark blue. Uh, so that was absolutely a winner from the get-go. But then also with the golden accents and despite the monochromatic crest, but fortunately the Madrid crest doesn't have a lot of color, it totally is beautiful and doesn't bother me. Uh, but not only that it's dark blue, and by the way, if you look on the inside, it's kind of this a more steely blue and not this darkish one. Uh, this pattern on the entire jersey, I know this supposedly uh, be a sound wave, but to me, I always maintain it looks like a star pattern, like the Milky Way and, and so on. And being a Real Madrid, being the Galacticos, I still call it the Galactico jersey. Although I know it is not meant to be a Galactico, but this is just absolutely beautiful and stunning and wonderful. Real Madrid is also one of the few teams that can pull off the gold and not look out of place. I totally love it. I honestly, I love the gold on the dark blue. I hollowed more than the black and the gold, although black and gold is a great combination, but I think the dark blue and the gold and you know, the sparkly sponsor, it just looks great. My one complaint is there's not enough gold. I do not understand that, that. And that's the one thing why it's not top, top, top. Why do the three stripes have to be in black? And the sleeve cuffs as well. I honestly think if these were in gold or just take one of the two blue tones to make this, I think this would look much better. If you just take this blue tone here, that you have already and add it here and maybe the three stripes in gold i think this would make this jersey stand out even more i think the black egg egg actually cheapens it a little bit um other notable features is there is more gold on there and on the bottom there are these tags and whatever it's not functional i don't know it's just an accent i like it but you know uh it's a little bit weird to have it there uh, and yeah, other than that, we have, of course, the climber light, which is the current thingy uh, of Adidas, the plane, uh, the back is plain, not the plane is back. <laughs> the back is plain on this jersey because I got it at the local sports store where they were selling off the last season's jerseys. It was not the cheapest, it cost 50, but it was a jersey that when the moment I saw it, I liked it. I, again, with the exception of the little black on there, but I then decided, yeah, get it. Get it this is too beautiful uh and despite the real madrid not being your absolute favorite team i have to say uh it's too beautiful of a jersey to not have this is definitely one for the collection um just for completeness sake the little tag here on the inside left shoulder here's the tag with the code this is what you want to look out for if you want to have a real adidas jersey this was made in july 19 uh, this part here with the sizing details, it's an XL that's of course much easier to fake. What a beauty, an absolute beauty. I have to say, I, I know Madrid barely played in this one last season. I remember that they lost 3-0 at the Parc de Prince 
wearing this this one with PSG playing in their white jerseys, which I got at the same time, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, but yeah, I, I think that jersey would have deserved a whole lot better. Uh, as I said, I find it absolutely beautiful. I have to tell you also that the crest is not stitched. This is, an, uh, this is a plastic uh, tra transfer, so that there's a certain 3D uh, to it. Yeah, I guess you can hear that uh, if you look closer. I mean, uh, it is a plastic material that's stitched on there. So this is, uh, that's glued on there, not stitched. It's absolutely glued. So that I think is an interesting feature. That's why it also shines so nicely. Well, in any case, let, let me know what you think about this jersey. I think this is the best Madrid jersey in a long, 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 long time. Um, yes, and I know I have two at Madrid away and only one home jersey. I know it is on my... Not immediate list, but it is on oh, my list to get another white, white one. Then I'm done with Real Madrid, because I think I have... Uh, then I would have four, and I think that's more than enough. And anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye!